Good morning. It's 60 Seconds to Serenity with me, Greg Hammond, and it is Wednesday, November 1st. Uh, hope you had a good uh, Halloween and a good Tuesday. I am uh, I'm hopping on here to do my 60 Seconds to Serenity, a quick... Uh, just some quick helpful tips and to now announce some cool things that I'm going to be doing coming up. Um, I want to recommend that you think about setting a goal or a couple of goals. And uh, in the next few videos, I'll talk about like how to choose those goals. But you want to set something personal, something that you, a goal for you to achieve. And um, so think about that. Uh, get a get a pad of paper. And write down uh, some ideas that you have about things. Maybe it's a personal goal, like a fitness goal. Um, maybe it's to get something done, like write something. Writing a, Maybe you want to write some articles, or you want to write a book, or you want to start a journal. Um, but just think about things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll suggest some things over the next few days as I do this. Yesterday I was talking about drinking water and how important that is. And... Um, one of the things that's uh, about drinking water is like you can get a, I was talking about filtering your water, don't drink bottled water because the, a lot of the plastics uh, can um, make that water toxic or um, they already have some chemical that they've added. A lot of companies have added like what they call a preservative and you can feel that in your stomach when you drink the, the bottled water, you can feel, you can feel the difference. You feel that something's happening. Those are the chemicals in the water that are uh, that your stomach's reacting to, and then you actually feel, you notice that you feel thirsty, uh, even though you've just had water, and that is because of the chemicals that are in the, those bottled waters, the, the packaged water. This is, uh, you know, um, this is my Camelback water bottle. I filter my water, uh, I filter it from the, from the sink, and then I filter it again through a pitcher. Um, so, that my water is, is clean from all the chemicals. I live in a city. They have uh, tons of uh, chemicals that they put in to, to uh, clean the water. Uh, how much water? I, I got this measuring glass um, that shows you eight ounces of water. And then if you don't have a measuring glass, because you probably don't drink from a measuring glass, you put that into a just a regular glass and that's about eight ounces of water and you should uh, you should drink that throughout the day maybe six of those eight of those a day um, if you're drinking something like like a cup of coffee the caffeine or, or uh, something that has sugar in it if you're drinking stuff like that and I, I recommend that you start to try to cut that out if you do drink anything like um, soda or coffee or teas uh, think about this. You, whatever, however much you drink of that, you have to offset it with, um, with water. So if you have six inches, uh, six uh, ounces of coffee, and then six ounces of water, you're basically back to zero, which means you need, add, need to add more water. And because our body is made up of water, um, you need to have it in there consistently. If you feel like if you get um, tired, drowsy, or you feel um, like you get headaches and you feel like you need uh, aspirin or, or um, you know, time to rest, it's probably because you're dehydrated and just don't realize it. So, and if you've been drinking bottled water and you still feel thirsty, that's why, because there's chemicals in there that dehydrate you. Uh, and uh, some of those um, are intentionally put in there and some of them, it's just the, the way that they're packaging their water. Anyway, so, so have some water a little bit throughout your day. Uh, the, the more that you can spread that out, the better. So um, that's on the water thing. For it's set, setting goals, I'll go through that in the next uh, few videos. Every morning I get up and uh, hop on here to share some helpful uh, tips. The idea of just um, 60 seconds to serenity is that it takes about one minute. If you're intentionally focusing on shifting, uh, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of things coming in. If you watch the news, if you listen to it or um, 
have television. There are tons of inf tons of information coming into your mind uh, on a conscious level, and then going in on a subconscious, especially if it's in the background. And some people happen to leave stuff on in the background, the radio or the TV. That stuff's going into your into your mind, and you want to be able to clear that out. That that will that will uh, start to build up. The residual of all of these uh, things going into your mind will build up, and you can be feel yourself stressed out. Uh, information you get during a day, sometimes it can feel stressful. So 60 seconds to serenity is about how to change the way that you feel and how to change your mood. I talked about you know music and uh, pictures, things that will trigger uh, good memories that you already have, something that is your go-to thing to, to shift your energy. And breathing, uh, which we do all the time, right? You're breathing all day long. It's funny when you go to uh, meditation, do a meditation or you listen to that or a yoga class and they're talking about breathe in, breathe out, like as if you weren't already doing that. Uh, it's just funny when they say it. I always think, yeah, I've been breathing every, every, uh, every part of my day since I got here. I have been breathing and just thinking about that with the water. Water is very important because we're made of water and we need air we need oxygen but the way that you breathe is important and um, so I, I say that think about your breath like the ocean wave coming in on the beach on a nice sandy beach uh, not the kind of wave crashing into the rocks but um, the gentle serene wave coming all the way in on that sandy beach and then going back out and so think about your breath think about your breath doing that same thing where as you take the breath in it's nice and slow and it goes as deep as you can take that breath and then back out nice and slow and even ebb and flow just like you have in nature on a nice calm beach and when you find yourself maybe uh, you're you are reacting to something that's happened uh, news that you've seen or something like that one you know eliminate that as much as possible and two use these tools that you have uh, if you don't have music right there you always have your breath right and so just breathe and good morning I see there's people hopping on here and saying good morning good morning Mark good morning Job good morning Dawn Rachel cousin Sean yep good morning so we're talking about the breathing in real deep and then out and um so that's uh that's the uh quickest way for you to center yourself um so i just uh i wanted to tell you about this what i'm as i'm doing these morning videos or 60 seconds to serenity i'll be sharing things that have helped me and helped a lot of the people who have taught me um find peace and you, my shirt guitars of peace is uh, a project that i've worked on a find music and playing an instrument to be very very powerful and I have the global jam for peace which you can see behind me on the on the on the studio wall here and what I did last year was uh, I mean if you if you um, didn't already know I teach guitar I've been teaching guitar rated number one in Washington DC for well over a decade and there's a reason for that uh, my approach is different than the standard approach that you have in the schools and um, conservatories and places like that. It's set up to be efficient in the schedule. It's not um, it's not going through the, the reading of music. It is going through the playing of the instrument and tapping into the music inside you. And last year, in December, I started a free guitar uh, class how to get started the right way on guitar so if you've ever thought about playing the guitar guess what I'm going to be doing that again and my goal is to get everybody who is interested in playing an instrument going and started the right way so I'm going to do that and uh, but it's also for the the value of meditation if you just want something therapeutic um, the, playing the guitar is very good for a number of reasons and so that you might find that there's uh that's something that you want to hop on and do when I'm doing that in the morning. Um, on Saturdays, that's uh, I'm going to start this Saturday, 
and I will probably be doing those classes around 9 a.m. on Saturdays. I'll do a live broadcast. I'll probably broadcast for my DC guitar lessons, um, as well as here, because I'll pop a, a, different, a couple different cameras on at the same time. And I will be teaching you how to get started right on the guitar with the goal of teaching you how to how to play the peace anthem, which is the song that we play for the Global Jam for Peace. And after I get going on the guitar, I might add in the ukulele and potentially the mandolin and the bass. Last year, I added a few instruments that I added in there for to teach uh, to teach people how to how to practice the right way and then how to play the peace anthem so that you can be prepared to play it with uh with the rest of the globe the idea of the peace of the global jam for peace is that we are all playing the same song at the same time with people around the globe all live streaming and we're doing a song that's about peace and it's important for each of us individually to work on our own personal progress and to take the time to invest in ourselves and um, many of the uh, great teachers out there and great leaders talk about reading being a very important thing and I read every morning um, and different things that I read but uh, one of my favorite books here is um, whoops this camera is uh, is set the other way so that you can read stuff as opposed to being backwards and so it's the opposite for me so the power of awareness by Neville Goddard and I have that on my my book stand here. I have book stands all around my guitar studio where the book is set up so that it's open and I'm reading something. And uh, this on chapter 8 it says, There is no coal of character that is so dead that it will not glow and flame, but if slightly turned. Which means that um, no matter where you feel that you are in whatever uh, part of life, you know, if you feel like you... Um, Maybe you don't have the energy, or it's uh, it's too late. That's not that's not true. You always have that. The inner coal is still there, but you have to nurture it. And so I say, um, a very easy and quick thing to do is to do three push-ups, just three. Um, hydration with water is important, but just to get your blood pumping, do three push-ups because three is not a very uh, big number. Anyway. Um, read and those little bit of exercise um so i am gonna zip off of here i just wanted to hop on and do my my 60 seconds to serenity remember your water your reading your breathing and the music and think about um learning guitar think about uh hopping on saturdays and if you know anybody who's been trying to play guitar or has always wanted to start playing guitar let them know that on saturdays i'll be getting on at nine and I'll do uh, a quick class on guitar, and I'll those will be in order to take you to the place to where you can play and play some stuff and know what to practice. Knowing what to practice is really important. And I'll post those after I've done those. Those will be uh, sitting over on DC Guitar Lessons and on my timeline, so you can come back. Like if you're not uh, able to play and do that on with the video at 9 a.m., you'll be able to go back and watch it over and over. And that is my gift to everyone who's ever wanted to play and thought, well, you don't want to go sit in with a teacher. Um, because sometimes it's a little intimidating to have to sit down and fumble through playing notes and feeling like you're at the complete beginner level. And part of the reason I'm doing the 60 Seconds to Serenity as well is because it's this is something you can just hop on and watch. You're in your own space. You can feel comfortable going through these. I'm going to be giving you exercises that might make you feel uncomfortable. And um, getting out of your comfort zone uh, is something that will push you towards achieving goals that you want. Um, you can do anything you want. You just have to set. You have to determine that that's that's what you want to do. Decide what it is. Make the decision, and then start to take action. But that's what my 60 seconds to serenity is to help you find the way to calm down and then I'm going to add these extra things in there to to coach you through uh, achieving goals and so with that I say have a great Wednesday I will be back tomorrow morning and I hope that your day is fantastic I'll see you later